place value basic concepts. In this lesson you will learn what the place value of a digit is, how the position of the digit in the number determines its value, what 10 base blocks, place value charts or arrow counts are, and how they can help to understand the whole number place value concepts. Let's review. Our numerical system is made of 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and finally 9. The digits are used in combinations such as 1, 2, 5 to represent numbers such as the number 125. Core lesson place value the position of the digit in the number determines how much it is worth, or in other words, what its place value is. Let's have a closer look at the number 125. The first digit from the left is the hundredth place, which is one in the example. It tells you how many sets or groups of 100 are in the number. So one represents 100, or in other words, one is worth 100, or in yet another way, its place value is 100. Now, if we move one place to the right of 100th place, the digit represents 10th place. The middle place tells you how many sets of 10s are in the number. Because of that, 2 in the example isn't just worth 2, but in fact it's worth 20, as it represents two groups of 10. So, the place value of 2 is 20. Finally, if you go one more place to the right of 10th place, you get the last or right digit, representing one place. 5 in our example. It tells you how many individual items or units you've got in the number. This implies that our 5 still remains 5, or its place value is 5. Base 10 blocks are mathematical manipulatives used to help to understand basic mathematical concepts such as place value. They come in four sizes to indicate their individual place value. Units, squares or cubes represent one's place. 10 units come together to make one long. Every long is made of 10 units and the four is 10 times bigger than one unit. Longs represent 10th place. 10 groups of longs make one flat. One flat represents 100th place and is 10 times bigger than one long. It also takes 100 units to make one flat. So flat is 100 times bigger than one unit. Finally, we've got one block serving as representation for thousands place. One block is made of 10 flats. It is also equal to 100 longs or 1000 units. Let's focus on some examples to practice with. Let's build the number 125 using base 10 blocks. Starting with the right digit, which is 5, it is worth only 5, since it is in the ones place. So the place value of the digit is represented by five red units. Now, if we go one place to the left of ones place, we get two, representing tens place. Because of that, the two isn't just worth two, but in fact it is worth 20, or in other words, its place value is 20. The place value of the digit 2 is now represented by two blue longs, or rods as many people call them. As for the last di left digit, which is 1, it is in the hundredth place, so its place value is 100. We indicate this by using one orange flat. Now we are going to build the number 235. We need two flats for two hundreds, three longs for three tens, and five units for five ones. Let's count it together. One hundred, two hundred, 
210, 220, 230, 231, 232, 233, 234, and finally 235. Place value arrow cards. Create a set of handy manipulatives used for numerous teaching and learning. They can be used for numerous activities to reinforce knowledge of ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Let's build a number 125 using arrow cards. First I'm gonna start with 100. On top of that I'm going to add 20. And finally the 5. The 1 is in the hundreds, so it's worth 100. The 2 is in the tens place, so its place value is 20. 5 is in the ones, so it remains 5 only. Let's build a number 7239. We start with 7000. On top of that, we put 200. Then 30. And finally, 9. 7 is in the thousands place, so its place value is 7000. 2 is in the hundreds place, so it is worth 200. 3 is in the tens place, so its place value is 30. And finally 9. It is in the ones place, so its place value remains 9. Numbers can be written in standard form, which is the most common one. Another way to represent numbers is to use expanded form. It is a way to break up a number to show how much each digit in the number represents. In other words, expanded form is a way to write numbers by adding the value of its digits or in yet another way it is the method of putting a number apart and expressing it as a sum of the values of each digit. Finally, we can express any number in words by using word form. A place value chart is a chart or table used to determine the position and value of a digit in a number. To the extreme right we have ones, then tens, then hundreds. After hundreds we start with thousands, then thousands and hundred thousands. After hundred thousands we have millions, ten millions and finally hundred millions. Uh, let's place some numbers in a place value chart. We start writing the given number from the right. 5 is at the extreme right corner, so 5 goes at 1's place, then 2 goes at 10's place, and finally 1 goes at 100's place. Let's see another example. 7239. Now one by one we place given digits in their respective place values. We start writing in from the right, so 9 goes at 1's place. Then 3 goes at 10's place. After that, 2 goes at 100th place, and finally 7 goes at 1000th place. And finally, the last example. Once again, we start from the extreme right side. Let's see how to convert numbers from standard to expanded form using place value chart. First, we've got to find the value of each digit. We start from the right. 2 is in the 1's place, so it's worth 2. Then 3 is in the 10's place, so its place value is 30. After that is another 2 in 100th place, so its value is 200. Next is 7 in the 1000th place, and because of that it is worth 7000. And finally, there is 5 in the 10,000th place, so its value is 50,000. When we put add signs between all these numbers, we get the expanded form of our number. How to read numbers using place value chart? First thing we've got to do is to place all digits of a given number in their respective place values. 
when we start reading the number from the left. In our example, it would be 57,000. Thousand because the digits 5 and 7 are in the thousands period. 200. 100 because 2 is in the hundreds place. 32. So once again, our number can be read as 57,232. 125 million 917,683. Jack has two longs and five cubes. How many cubes does Jack have altogether? First, let's see how many units one long consists of. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So one long is made up of 10 units. We've got another long, so we have to add another 10. And there are some single units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to add 5. Adding these three numbers up, we get 25. What is the place value of 3 in 4378? 8 is in the 1's place, so its place value is 8. 7 is in the 10's place, so its place value is 70. 3 is in the 100's place, so it is worth 300. And finally, 4 is in the 1000's place. So, its place value is 4,000. Using the digits above, build the largest number you can. Build a number less than 3,000. Build a number that is between 3,000 and 4,000. Thanks for watching, new lessons are coming soon.